There you go, dear. Oh, there you go. You've got your cream and your sugar now. It's a little cappuccino. In Rocky, Adrian's hesitation to kiss Rocky wasn't originally in the script. Talia Shire had contracted the flu and was worried about getting Sylvester Stallone sick, so she was very reluctant to kiss him. It ended up being better than the planned scene, so it was kept in the movie. In Ferris Bueller's Day Off during the parade scene, people seen dancing, including the construction worker and the window washer, had nothing to do with the film. They were simply dancing to the music being played, and director John Hughes found it so humorous that he told the camera operators to record it. During the jail cell scene in The Master, Joaquin Phoenix broke a real toilet. Due to the historical past of the building where the scene took place, the toilet was considered historical. Joaquin had no intentions to break the toilet, nor did he think it was possible. Lenny Montana, who played Luca Brasi in The Godfather, was an actual mafia enforcer sent by the Colombo family to oversee the filming. Coppola cast him, but Montana was too nervous about acting with Brando and kept forgetting his lines, which was later included as a character trait. Don Colleon, I am honored and grateful that you have invited me to your daughter's wedding. In Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, Veruca Salt has a bloody knee in the chocolate room scene. Her actress, Julie Dawn Cole, cut it on the sharp rock while filming the egg-breaking scene. She still has a scar from the injury today. In The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, during the Helm's Deep battle, one of the Rohan soldiers had only one eye for real, not CGI. Director Peter Jackson let the extra, Wayne Phillips, show his condition. In Mrs. Doubtfire, the scene where Mrs. Selner comes to inspect Daniel's apartment and the icing on Mrs. Doubtfire's face is melting off was not intentional. The heat from the set lights melted the icing on his face, and Robin Williams improvised the bulk of that scene. There you go, dear. Oh, there you go. You've got your cream and your sugar now. It's a little cappuccino. In the 2004 Punisher movie, Thomas Jane stabbed Kevin Nash with a knife when they messed up and forgot to swap out the real knife with a prop. He didn't even realize he had been stabbed, and they used the scene in the movie. In Bohemian Rhapsody, after the band finishes their Live Aid performance, the order of which they leave the stage represents the order of the member's departure from the band. Freddie first because of his death, John second because of retirement, Brian and Roger last as they are still together. In Ocean's Eleven, in nearly every scene Rusty is in, he is eating. Brad Pitt suggested this after having worked all day without a break for lunch, and it was decided he'd eat all the time. In the scene where he's waiting for Julia Roberts due to several takes, he ate 40 shrimp. Fun fact, at the end of the movie when Rusty is picking up Danny from prison, he is eating a sandwich. Apparently, because of his eating, they decided to prank him in that scene by putting a bunch of hot sauce in his sandwich, hence his reaction after the first bite. In The Goonies, director Richard Donner wanted an authentic reaction from the kids when they saw Willie's ship for the first time, so they didn't get to see it until it was time to shoot. The scene had to be reshot due to the cast swearing as part of their reaction. It was a big thing to finally see the ship, right? They wanted a real reaction, so they took all the kids. They wouldn't let us see the ship for like three months. So we go under, we, they, they back us in, we go underwater, they say action, and I turn around and I go, holy shit! <laughs> In Enchanted, in the scene where Edward is run over by the cyclists, James Marsden was actually hit by them for real. The cyclists were just meant to bump him, and he would fake a fall. But Marsden didn't think it looked good, so he insisted on filming the collision for real. I've been dreaming... Ah! Ow. For The Matrix Reloaded, General Motors donated over 100 cars to the production. All of them were destroyed in the filming of the epic car chase scene most of which was filmed on a fake 1.5-mile stretch of road that was built from scratch on a former naval base for $2.5 million. In The Fabulous Baker Boys, when real-life brothers Bo and Jeff Bridges have a fight, Jeff very nearly breaks Bo's hand. 
They planned to come up with a safe word in case things went too far, but Jeff forgot himself, and Bo went to the hospital directly afterward. How do you like that? Did you know Bruce Lee died while making Game of Death? They had already filmed over a hundred minutes of footage before he passed away. The filmmakers used various techniques to hide his absence. An infamous example is when they pasted a cardboard cutout of Lee's face onto a mirror so that an extra could hide behind it. It's also the only movie ever made where the star's corpse is filmed. During the opening sequence in Apocalypse Now, Martin Sheen was actually drunk in the Saigon hotel room because he was celebrating his 36th birthday on set that day. He also accidentally shattered the mirror in his room. Did you know that in the 1992 horror film Candyman, the bees pouring out of Tony Todd's mouth are real? Actor Tony Todd had live bees put in his mouth for the film's infamous scene and was stung almost 30 times. He was paid $1,000 per bee sting, ultimately earning $27,000 for the experience. In E.T., the doctors trying to save E.T. were played by real-life doctors from the USC Medical Center in Los Angeles. Steven Spielberg felt that actors wouldn't be able to make the medical dialogue sound natural, so he recruited real doctors to deliver the dialogue. In the famous scene in El Camino, a Breaking Bad movie, where Todd is driving and singing Sharing the Night Together, him gesturing like a child to the truck driver to honk was not in the script and completely ad-libbed by Jesse Plemons. The train scene in Inception was one of those scenes that seemed so over the top that one could easily think it must have been created with great CGI, but it was actually a practical shot done in downtown LA. In X-Men Apocalypse, the woman that Stan Lee is holding in his arms is his real wife, Joan Lee. It's the scene in which Apocalypse uses his powers to launch all the world's nuclear weapons into space, essentially disarming the entire planet. But you can never strike gold! During the vault scene in Mission Impossible, Tom Cruise kept touching the floor and eventually figured out he needed a little more weight at his feet so he was finally able to pull off that balanced shot by putting pennies in his shoes. According to the Disaster Artist book, when filming the flower shop sequence, Tommy Wiseau didn't notice the doggy until he was in the middle of a take and improvised the hi doggy line. Hi doggy, you're my favorite customer. He thought the doggy was cute, but was scared that it would bite him. How much is it? It'll be $18. Keep, go. Keep the change. Hi doggy, you're my favorite customer. When coming up for a new planet name in Rogue One, director Gareth Edwards went to order coffee and mumbled his name, saying, it's Gareth, causing the barista to write Scarif on his cup instead of Gareth, thus finding the new name for the new planet. <laughs>